King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla led the royal family throughout Remembrance Day ceremonies, marking the first iteration of the holiday since the death of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8. The occasion, established in honor of fallen soldiers who served the Commonwealth, took place on November 13, while associated events unfolded over the weekend. On Saturday evening, a number of royals, including Prince William and Kate Middleton, Prince Edward and Sophie, and Princess Anne could be seen at the Royal Albert Hall attending the Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance. Newly appointed British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak was also spotted, among those seated in the balcony area of the theatre. At the top of the evening, the audience was treated to a rendition of I Vow to Thee My Country, sung by Beauty and the Beast star Luke Evans. Next on the event's roster was a memorial montage in tribute to the late Queen, highlighting Elizabeth's support and involvement with the royal military. Clips showed the late monarch alongside soldiers as far back as World War II-era Britain. On Sunday, King Charles then headed the ceremonial proceedings held at the Cenotaph War Memorial in Whitehall. He and other royal family members, the Queen Consort and Prince and Princess of Wales among them, all donned bright red poppy pins. The symbols have been worn by the royal family each November since 1921 in honor of those who have lost their lives fighting in the British Army. At 11 a.m. GMT, upon Big Ben's 11th chime, the King initiated two minutes of silence to commemorate the Commonwealth's departed servicemen and women.